Hi everyone, Adam here. So in this video, I'm going to go through product options of the Create Shop. So product options are what you can use to offer items you sell in your Create Shop in either different sizes, different colors, different lengths. It's up to you really, but you can offer a product in different variations and then your customer can select that option they wish to order. Um, you can also use product options to offer customization on any products you sell to have a personal message added. So in this video, I'm going to go through to explain how to first set up the product options and then also show you how you add the product option to any products you wish to offer these options on. So the area you're going to want to go to in your account is the shop section. So I'm just going to click on shop at the top here. And then product options can be found in the left here. So if you just click on that. So at the moment, I haven't got any product options set up. So your account may look similar to this. So to add a product option, you simply click add a product option in the top right. So for the first example, I'm going to offer um, a mug in different colors. So I want to offer red, green, and blue on this uh, product that I'm going to be adding this option to. So I'm going to call this uh, option color. You can enter, of, of course, whatever is most relevant to the option you're going to be setting up. Then you can select whether the option is required or not. So do you need the customer to select an option? So for this one, I'm going to say yes, because I need to know what color mug they want to order. OK, so then the next section here is where you're going to create all the details of your option. So in the first field, you've got drop down lists. So if you click on this, you can either have a drop down list for different options or a custom text box. So for this example, I'm going to leave it as a drop down list. Now the first option I'm going to add is, let's say, red. So do you want the price to increase? You can if you wanted to for different, so if you're making different sized items or different lengths, you could increase or decrease the price depending on the size or the option you're generating. But for my colors, they're all going to be the same price, so I'm going to leave the price increase to no change. And the same with the weight increase. I'm going to leave this to, to stay the uh, no weight change. Default item. So this you can ignore. If this is the first product option you're setting up for your item, there's no need to toggle this. And then add another item. So I'm going to say yes, because I want to add another color after this. So I'm going to tick that to yes. Add item. Now it's literally the same process again. So I'm going to say blue this time. Again, same details. Leave those as they are. Default item, no. Add another item. Yes, I do. Add item. And I'm going to say green. Again, leave all the things the same. Now, at the very end here, it says add another item. I'm going to say no, because I only want to offer these uh, three colors. So I click add item. OK, so now I've got a product options on this screen. As you can see, it says color. It says it's required, so that means the customer will have to choose it. Now, if you click the drop down button, you can see the options you've added here. So I've got red, blue, and green. If, for example, I thought, oh, hang on a minute, I want to add a, another color, I'd simply click this plus arrow here. The field will open up again, and I'm going to say black. Again, add another item. No, add item. And then if I click drop down again, here you can see red, blue, green, and now the black I've just added. So you can simply go back to this if ever you wanted to and add further options. So now I've got a product option set up. I need to add this to one of my products. So I'm going to click back on the shop at the top here. Now, if I scroll down, here are my products in my shop. So here are the different mugs that I'm selling. So I want to add this product option to the bare enamel steel mug here. So I'm going to click edit this product. That will open the edit product screen. Now along the top here, you can see there's various different tabs. You want to click on the one that says product options. Now, here with the manage product options, if you click on apply an option, there's a drop down box just here. If you click on that, this will show any product options you've added. So I've only added the one which is color, so that's why the only that's the only one showing. So I'm going to click add and then make this product option a required. Yes, I want this to be required to be chosen by the customer and click add. Okay, so now the color options it has been applied. Now I need to add the options I want to offer to the customer. So I want the red the blue, the green, and the black. So that's the four options I want to offer for this mug because it comes in all these available colors. And then once I've done that, I'm just gonna click Save Changes. Okay, so now the product options have been added to that product. And if I go to show you how that looks, I'm just gonna click on the Design section at the top here. Close this here. 
So if I go into the shop, so Mountain Brew Shop, and I find that product, so here it is, Bare Enamel Steel Cut. I click on that. So you can see my product option is now here. So if I click on that, you can see there's the red, blue, green, and black. So now the customer can choose the color of the mug they wish to buy. And if I try to buy that without choosing a color, you can see a little warning comes up there. So I'm gonna go back and make another product option now. So if I'm gonna go back to the shop, and then back to product options. So now for this option, I want to offer, uh, I've got a mug where I, the customer can write their own message on the mug, so their own, uh, so could they have a name or any type of message that they would like to have added onto the mug. Now for this, I want to offer that, but I also want the price to go up a little more for this option. Okay, so to set up a custom text box as a product option, it's a very similar process as to what we've already done. Um, so you're gonna go over here to add product option, and then name for the create a new option. So here I'm gonna enter it as custom text or custom message maybe. And then required, yes or no. So as this is an option on the product I'm going to sell, I don't want this to be a required option. So I'm gonna leave this as no, and then click add. So now, rather than a drop-down list, what I want to select is a custom text box. So this is gonna be where the customer enters the text they want onto the, onto the item. Now here for the field type, you can choose whether it's a single line or a multi-line. Now this will depend on the, the product that you're offering and how much text space there is. So mine's just a short amount of space, so I'm gonna leave it as a single line. Max text length, you can enter a limit of characters on the, on the message that the customer can add. I'm gonna leave this blank for now. I'm not going to display a text limit. And then in the item name, this is some instructions for your customer to follow. So I'm just going to end, uh, put something, enter your message here. And this will be displayed in the text box that they type in. Uh, price increase. Um, so for this option, I do want to increase the price. So I'm going to increase the price by, for this example, £2.50. The weight change, I'm going to leave the same. The default item can leave that as no, and then add another item, leave as no, because this is the only option I want to set up now. So I'm gonna click add item. And here you can go, see I've got the custom message, and then enter your message here, single line, increase price by £2.50. So now to enter that, uh, to add that onto one of my items, I'm gonna go back to the shop. I'm gonna look for the item I want to add it to. So in this case, it's gonna be the Gardener's Enamel Steel Cup. So I'm gonna do edit this product product options, and then apply an option. So this time it's not the color option I want to apply, but it's the custom text box. So I'm gonna click on this and pick custom message, which is the one I've just set up, and then add. Make this a required option, no, so leave that blank. Click add, and then I'm just gonna literally apply the, uh, the option here by clicking on the green plus arrow here, and then save changes. Now if I go back to the design, Close that down. And if I go and find this item in the shop, so if I click Mountain Brew Shop, and then look for this mug, which I've just added the option to. Here you can see the option custom message, enter your message here. So I could just say, I don't, you can type your message in there, and then the customer would be able to add the item to their basket. I hope that's been useful. As always, with anything like this, if you've got any questions at all, just drop a message at support at create.net and your account manager will get back to you with some more advice. Thanks for watching.